Um, I kind of was, but yeah. So this is where I'm going to get most of the stuff done. I'm going to send out my first wave. I have my reserve troops here. At least they're needed. So that actually doesn't look as bad as I thought. Okay, I'm gonna need to say stay away from that citadel though. It has a pretty big fire range. Oh. In the meantime, yeah. I'm gonna since they have a good distance. No, stay back. Yeah, they're gonna be firing. Just train another necromancer. How'd they do that? I didn't. Okay. Wow, this is actually going really quick. Did somebody die? Did one of the men die? Oh, no. I'm here to help. Where do you want it? You made the right choice. Ah. I'm just gonna keep training these guys. A sound plan. I have some trouble beating the halls of the dead. That's like their version of the key. I don't think they can train them at the temple of the damned. No, no, you know what? Just get back here. For honor. A fort. A sound plan. Hopefully I can finish this mission in just one of these. No. No, I'm the commander. Okay, so still don't know how I'm going to go about doing this. Uh this is really their only fortification, but they could have men guarding there. So I think this should be my next target, the Halls of the Dead, and then go after all of the additional buildings. Investigate near the Yeah, I haven't even I haven't even completed any quests yet. Been building my men. Okay, you know what? I'm firing. I'm di diverting all fire to the base. Seriously, why are they picking the healer? Oh, darn it. Oh no, they're going after my healers. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Ugh. 
hate when I lose just one mana because the troops are so expensive. Good news is that I always have the reserve troops. That's what I'll do when I finish this base. Okay, so now that there's really no men left, or whatever left, except that one ghoul coming at us. She has her water elementals up in the Now they can divert and do whatever the hell they want. So, he'll go and fill in. Am I out of water? Oh yeah. Yes. Must have worn off. Ready for action. On my way. Don't really need that thing anymore. Where do you want it? Is there danger? That's just doing that alone. Yes, yeah, so I'm about to unhaunt everything here. To Andrew Hall. A sound plan. I think I'm gonna. I might get more men here. I don't know though. Kothuzad is a really important character later. Like, you actually get to play as him. Him and Arthas are two important heroes. Like, he's Arthas, he becomes Arthas' second in command. I'm spoiling it. He eventually helps Arthas, though. Say. Oh. Two ghouls, no problem. Two ghouls equals no problem. Two ghouls plus twelve humans equals no problem. Okay, grain was already shipped. Timmy. I wonder if that's the same little Timmy that was kidnapped by the gnolls. That would be badass. What was that? Ooh. Oh, okay, that's just Timmy. I think this is the bridge. Yeah, this is the bridge that was out in the other one. Okay. Kill something. I think I know who that something is. Ah, oh, yes. The graveyard where Kelthuzad has his office. Oh, yeah. Another base. Filled with abominations. 
lovely, beautiful. Yeah, one of them is at least up. I'm, at least two of them are gonna die by the end of this encounter. Maybe even three. I don't think I have to battle very much anymore after this, so I don't really have to go into my reserve funds. They're doing pretty good now. One dude left. No wonder there's doing nothing. Okay, so this is where they spawn. They spawn at the slaughterhouse. We'll learn more about the undead units in the undead campaign. Ah, yes, the first boss. And Kel'Thuzad is actually not undead, he's a human. What did I do? Delete? Why did delete take me there? What's strange is you can't really get ready units in this game. Okay, time to kill him. Okay, that was easy. Well, it's like a William Shakespeare monologue before the death. He has a throne, too. <laughs> His body just disappears. Okay, so we accomplished in killing Kel'Thuzad, the game's first boss. So, um, that was episode 9. I'll do episode 10 tomorrow. Yeah, because I don't really feel like doing this mission tonight. March of the Scourge, early the next morning, Arthas and Jaina approach the village of Hearthglen. Okay, so we're going to, um, just gonna record the first cutscene, and then I'm gonna end the episode. Tyrion Fordring used to be the leader here. Tyrion is from... He's a major character in Wrath of the Lich King. Where'd my dwarf guy go? My, dwar my mortar team? I only see one dwarf. So I guess maybe he's one of them, but he just left his cannon behind. This is actually one of my favorite missions. Because it shows what the plague, the nature of the plague is truly. I get riflemen in this mission. Dwarf riflemen. So I'll start this mission just by killing people. And then, yeah. Okay, I really like reinforcing people in this mission, but since this mission's gonna take about a half hour and it's coming up on 9 o'clock p.m., um, and I haven't eaten dinner yet, um, I'm probably going to do some online matches too in a sec, but on, but not, but on, um, the Dell laptop. 